Suppose you have two classes, a duck class and a goose class, both of which expose method quack. You also have a dog class, which unfortunately does not expose any method and cannot quack, nor bark. Let's now create three instances of these classes, one for each animal. If we now try to call method quack for each of these instances, we observe the following behavior. Duck can quack. Goose can also quack. But when we try to call method quack for the dog instance, an attribute error is returned. What we have just experienced is the application of the so-called duck test to determine if an object can be used for a particular purpose. What we found is that dog classes cannot quack. In a language like Java, if one tries to call method quack on an object of type dog, an error would be raised when the code is compiled. This is not the case in Python. In Python, developers can use the duck test to determine if an object can be used for a particular purpose. But how is this done in practice? To carry out a duck test, developers must leverage Python exceptions. By surrounding the quack method call with a try except construct, we make sure to capture and handle any attribute error exception that is raised. If an exception is raised within the try except construct, the animal cannot quack. Let's now see how we can blend generators and exceptions to retrieve a list of all animals that can quack. We first create a function animals that quack. Then we retrieve all animals in our dictionary and pass them to this function. As expected, only duck and goose can quack. 